Yo, what up, man? I'll start this is your boy, Shocky360. We're playing COD Most Hated today. Uh, he sent me a challenge. Some people hate him. Some people like him. Some people are his friends. Some are not. But here we go with the Niners versus Niners match. But, uh, you know, hey, he wants to play at the top level. We're going to play at the top level here in this game. I'm the white 49ers. He's the red ones. And uh, I'm doing pretty good right here in the run. He's having a hard time stopping me. Even though a lot of people, what they're trying to do now, which is I think it's really bad because they're trying to overload the side of the where they think the option is going to go, which is uh, pretty, uh, you know, that's what pretty much everybody is doing to try to stop the read option or try to actually user the defensive end. But I think that's a bad idea because you definitely you could go into a passing play and then throw over the top and leave everybody else open. So if you're doing that to try to stop the read option, that's not how you do it. And you're going to see right now a little bit of how you actually do stop the read option. So he comes out in the read option. He comes here in the run. But, uh, you know, the best weapon right here is my boy Patrick Willis. And and I'm going to be hit sticking the whole entire game. Uh, I'm actually really good at the hit, hit stick, which... Uh, look at this right here. He comes out in the read option. Boom. Right behind the line of scrimmage. I just come in and stop him right there. And again, he's getting, uh, you know, trying to score. Does not happen right there. We're in the middle of the field. We hit stick him and he drops the ball. So, um, here we go up the gut. Uh, coming out that this, uh, his first drive, uh, he didn't do it. I did a stupid ass mistake right here. I was frustrated at this point uh, because I couldn't believe that that I gave him this shit. You know what I'm saying? He's about to score now. Uh, he has a chance to score now. And I'm coming out over here and I'm boom. See, I'm over the field. Uh, uh, actually, I'm averaging online right now like around 40 yards uh, uh, a game. Like when people run against me, it's only 40 yards right now. That's how much I'm averaging. So a lot of people cannot run against me, but as you guys can see here, uh, he scores a two-point conversion. So he does run it up for two yards. So that's pretty much uh, that uh, how much he gets. But I'm a really good run stopper. And what I mean, uh, do I have a specific play to run stopper? Yeah, I usually send six players uh, to to help me with a run. But at the same time, I am the run stopper. Uh, you know, I try to do everything uh, while uh, I'm on defense to stop the run, especially the read option. And, uh, you know, I played uh, some of my boys yesterday. And, uh, you know, I got some good players on my squad. And I was playing A-gap yesterday. He tried sending all kinds of fucking wildcat shit, man. That was hard to stop. But definitely with a little bit of timing, I managed to, so you know, lock him up on defense Two people as got to well, worry about is the running back coming out after a while. But, and then look the tight at this end, nice and user, in this case, I saw user the running pick. Let's go ahead and boom. Rewind that to you guys can tight check end. it out. Stay right under his route. And uh, since I saw him going on a streak, I just got there at the bottom of the route and you know got a nice pick so basically what you got to do is if you know your area is covered on the left side everybody's on zone okay you got the middle of the field uh with I got, in this case i have patrick willis uh i just read what the running back the tight end and there's a slot receiver on that side i, I gotta see, visualize the routes they're gonna be running for example if they're gonna be running a streak uh what is the running back gonna do out of the backfield to affect me streak uh, what is a slot receiver going to do to affect me? Drag or slant in. With a tight end, what is he going to do? In route, out route, streak, or slant in, and zigzag route. That's the last thing. Those are some of the things I got to think. Uh, and, and that's what, uh, you know, as soon as you see them cutting or stutter stepping, then you know where exactly what route they're going to do, and you're going to be right there to jump on it. Uh, but, you know, we're doing really good right now, 17-15, and here we go. We see it. Davis wide open for a touchdown and one of the things uh why is he so wide open right here because a lot of you guys like I said some of you guys are trying to blitz uh, a lot of people are overload blitz and uh as soon as uh, you start overload blitzing people to stop the, the read option I'm just gonna hit you up deep as you guys saw there and um it's 24 15 right now in this game he has a ball and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to play a little bit of max coverage because I know that I could use her everything on the field and he got me this was a real close play right there and uh, here we go once again playing man coverage and he comes out in an uh, in route or slant in uh, but he gets a nice catch so that's fine that's okay because I'm on top no matter if he scores I'm still gonna be up by one point even if he goes for a two point conversion and he comes here and he goes uh, and gets another touchdown so uh, which is okay uh, and, and I know that I'm, I'm pretty doing pretty good on offense so I'm really confident of moving the ball throwing the ball and as well as running the ball since look at this <laughs> we're just knocking people down on their ass but basically, uh, what I'm going to do on the guides is an update this weekend because I already got an update uh, for the defense. 
which is actually the dime flat uh, update uh, nice scheme look at this nice run I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you guys how to read and how to read and what to think about uh, when you're playing uh, defense in this case right here uh, you know I'm playing max coverage I got the wrong player he caught me adjusting and uh, he throws deep there's nothing gonna be covered I'm playing a cover three so everything is pretty much covered over the top my main responsibility is in the middle of the field so right there boom I don't see anybody that route coming in that's mine right there now he hesitates to throw that boom right there I stopped and he got me good so that because I stopped right there he got that catch if I would have kept going, definitely he would have had to gone somewhere else. But he goes and settles for a field goal, which was really surprising for me at this point. So it's 31-25. I don't he was expecting to get the onset kick, which is really tough because in NCAA is basically the same thing as this game. Uh, you can never get an uh, onside kick back, you know, every, every once in a while you would. So I think this was a really dumb move in his part. But anyways, you know, I guess he's still learning the game. But we'll see maybe in the future in getting a rematch and let's see what happens. So until later, this is your boy Shocker360. Don't forget, Madden All-Stars, Madden 25 Domination Guide, offense, offense, offense and defense are there. You guys want to try me, test me, hey, hit me up on my PSN or Gamertag. And I'll go ahead and get a game in with you guys. Until later, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Bye.